All right, everybody, keep their fingers crossed for me, please. Keep your spooky fingers crossed. Hello, everybody. Welcome and welcome back. I am Krista Girl, and welcome to another episode of the Spooky Shopping Channel. We are non-stop. Happy July, everybody. This is going to be one of the busiest months of the year for me. Um, it is starting, it is happening. If you are new here or you're new to this concept, Halloween decor, fall decor is out in stores now. It is just now starting to get out into stores. And the whole purpose of this channel and um, this specific project here, the Spooky Shopping Channel, um, is to find said decor items and all kinds of other things as well. Everything to do with Halloween and fall uh, that's out in stores is to find it. I'm going to show it to you all, share the prices, share my thoughts on it, my favorite things, my least favorite things, and just present it all here for you. So today I got word, I got word that I think Home Goods. I think we're finally going to see some stuff at Home Goods today. That is my hope. That is my my fingers have been crossed ever since I found out about this. Um, I traveled actually quite far to get here today to this specific Home Goods to uh, to find Halloween. Um, I'm gonna get into how I found out that there may or may not be Halloween here at this specific Home Goods here in Lake Mary, Florida, by the way. Um, I'll, I'll get into that later on in the video because I have a whole story and a whole spiel on that. We'll get to that in a second. But the point is we have traveled great distances to get here to this particular Home Goods because I have on good authority that there probably is some Halloween in there. So. Um, Home Goods, it's one of my favorite stores to look for Halloween decor. They always have such really um, awesome stuff and usually for pretty darn good prices too. Um, so fingers crossed, we're going to head on inside of the store and see what we can find. Thank you all so much for clicking on this video, for checking out my channel. I surely do appreciate it. Let's get on inside. Happy Halloween, everybody. Let's get shopping and let's go. And before we go too much further, I want to say thank you so much to Lancelot for this video's coffee. Cheers. I hope you enjoy this one, buddy. Happy Halloween. So the trees are literally directly in the way of the signs, like in almost every single angle that I can find. But nonetheless, you can take it on my good authority here that we are at home goods and TJ Maxx uh, they are owned by the same company home goods TJ Maxx Ross all that good stuff uh, so we have double the chances of finding Halloween here I'm gonna start with home goods on the left and look at that just walked inside of the door and indeed there is a whole aisle here filled with Halloween we did it we found it finally Finally, check out this really, really awesome, like fruit bowl sort of thing. I'm gonna assume, but obviously it is in. It's a nice little like spider web thing going on here. This is only thirteen dollars. Okay, we may be purchasing a few things today here at Home Goods. Okay, that's awesome. That'll be great in the spooky kitchen. We need a fruit, a fruit holder too. There's also these really beautiful cauldrons set of three cauldrons here these are twenty dollars that is not a bad price to you especially considering what we just saw yesterday at joanne's oh man so expensive uh but these are beautiful these are really cute um i remember these from last year too and i don't know is this the year is this the year we get the three the three cauldrons and you can see that there's a like a rose gold like copper one there's a gold one, and then down here, there's a silver one. So there's a bunch of different colors. That is cool. I think I like the, the copper. I do like copper a lot. There's also these skellies here. Looks like they've got some kind of beverage in their hand, maybe a beer or something. And uh, he's got a surfboard, his swimming trunks, very much a Florida skeleton right there. That's for darn sure. And we've got a nice classic pumpkin here. That's $10. It's like a white color. 
think it's made out of wood. Okay, here's another fruit bowl thing. A, a more traditional fruit bowl. A, a double layered uh, thing here. I don't know. I'm sure you could use it for other things. But mine, mine just goes directly to, hey, I can put my bananas in here. This is $15. Man. Oh, man. Yeah, either this or this. Spoiler alert. Absolutely coming home with me today. And there's some spooky trees here. A few different kinds of spooky trees. There's these cone shaped ones that kind of look like uh, big sparkly candy corns. Very sequenced. That's for, for darn sure. These are great for like mantle places or I don't know wherever you would, would put a, a cone shaped tree. And then these like the branch ones here that are like doused in glitter. They've got really really cute little jack-o-lantern bells on them and then little bats hanging off of these two these light up so let's see yep they sure do there you go that is pretty darn cool and i just lifted them up to see how much they cost they're 30 dollars and they are heavy surprisingly heavy what's in whatever's inside of here it is definitely weighted so if you wanted to put it outside i'm sure you could uh i'm sure you could put it outside and just a couple things on the shelves below the trees here looks like some really beautiful day days of the dead these statues here that's very yeah dios de los muertos very nice very substantial twenty dollars for this beautiful skelly here and also a really cute little nutcracker little cat nutcracker here with the with the pink on there if you like nutcrackers and there's also this like bedazzled pumpkin in here with a bunch of different colors on it very very not traditional oh boy twenty dollars this is very heavy and i'm gonna assume very breakable <laughs> so be careful with that yeah like disco ball pumpkin Actually, if I think about it like that, I kind of like it a little bit more. Or if you want a funny looking pumpkin, there's this cute little guy here with the little little devil horns. He's made out of felt. $13, as you can see. Really, really, really cute. Down below here, there's also a felt skeleton. He lights up, although I don't think that's working right now on him, but it does just say that he lights up. I'm gonna assume his eyes do and i believe i just saw 17 dollars yesterday at joanne's the biggest upset was their felt skeletons which were like basically the exact same size as this guy made out of felt 60 dollars that is absolutely bananas insane and uh so anyway i think the felt skeletons are apparently gonna be a thing this year so home goods has them here this is even a cooler color this purple here is pretty darn cool uh 16 bucks can't beat that and there's also smaller uh little trees here these don't have the cute little uh jack-o-lantern bells or bats on them but they are still doused in glitter and probably a little bit cheaper because they're a little bit smaller I'll, I'll try to find the price here fifteen dollars for the slightly smaller trees don't break anything don't break anything okay moving right along we have a bunch more felt figures in this section here there's a ton of them these little ghosties that says boo on it this cute little monster with a little candy corn thing Another funny pumpkin with a, ooh, this one's got a bow on it. There's this little bat back in here, really, really cute. This monster with a little monster. This one in here, he's got a little bat and a little ghost. And there's this purple monster in here too. And I think we've, seen them all yeah so a lot of really cute little felt monsters and pumpkins and stuff like that these would be really cute to like decorate like a kid's room with or hey you know if this is you know if you think they're adorable you want to decorate your own room as an adult why not these little witches here though these are really awesome three cool witches living their best life they've got a green 
orb here over top of a cauldron. I bet it lights up. Let's see if it lights up. Let's try to find one that lights up. There we go. That is cool. Not only does it light up, but like the swirly stuff on the inside, well, swirls, swirls around. That is cool. And we're talking $25 for the witches. $25, that is a steal. At Joann's, this would have been 100, easy. Yeah, that is really darn cool. For some reason, I'm getting like Golden Girl vibes here. Like if the Golden Girls were witches, this is totally what this would be. There's also, I to me, a disturbing Marilyn Monroe. Ma Marilyn Monroe, I don't know what I just said. Marilyn Monroe skelly here. I'm not a fan of this, I'm not gonna lie. $13. For that though if that's your jam this pumpkin guy i'm definitely a fan of though he is heavy very 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 substantial super cute jack-o-lantern he's obviously like a little vampire he's got his little trick-or-treat pail little uh bat on a stick super cute I just lifted him up to see how much he was 17 dollars, and he's actually not as heavy as i thought he was but he's still pretty darn substantial okay moving right along we've got a lot more skeleton action and also these really tall witches here they are really really pretty just do a little pan here for you she's got a broom very elaborate costume on that is nice very pretty She's $40 apparently, $40 for the tall witches. And then we also have some skulls down in here, very ornate, glittery skulls. These are pretty darn cool. I do like it, I just wish it wasn't, you know, covered in glitter. $10 and evidently it lights up as well. These skellies here clearly just got married, $13 for them. Here's another like bride one here. She's $15. Very pretty. I like the colors. Very elaborate. Very beautiful. Wow. Look at that. Look at the dress. That's amazing. That's what I'm going to look like on my wedding day. And I know I just said that I'm not like a huge fan of all the glitter, but I do really like this pumpkin here. I think it's really pretty. I like the kind of like feather look that it has to it. It's seven dollars. I also like the color, kind of like a blue-green color. And then this one here is a black glitter pumpkin, just absolutely covered, doused in the glitter. Fifteen dollars. Look at that. Look at that. And there's like a, a potion bottle sort of thing. Fifteen dollars. For this uh, decanter, that's the word. Decanter's got a little skelly hand on that. That's really pretty. And check out this pumpkin here. Holy moly. Now this is a metal pumpkin. Not the, um, not the material metal, but just like very like hardcore. It's $15. This is stinking cool. This is one of the coolest pumpkins I've ever seen. It's, and it's not doused in glitter. How about that? Man. Okay, well, we might be coming home with a few things today from Home Goods. Also, look at this beautiful snow globe. I tell you what, if if you have any friends or family or whatever that are getting married and they like the spooky stuff, they like Halloween, you, they got stuff here at Home Goods for you that you could get them. This is very, very heavy. Very heavy. Let's try not to break it as we try it. Oh boy. That's the workout for the day. Okay. Wow. How cool is that? That is beautiful. Very heavy as I said. $30 I think is what I saw. That's pretty darn amazing. Also, this uh, skelly back here with the top hat. Very Sir Henry. He's sitting on the top of... Uh, all these books here. Oh, cool, his innards change colors. That's neat. And it's $30 for this guide. And I think with that, we've seen all the Halloween 
on this aisle. Let's uh, continue throughout the store, see what else we can find. Just walking around the store and now we're getting to the TJ Maxx portion of it. So it is indeed one big gigantic store. That is pretty darn, that's pretty cool. Take a look at this. They are still putting out the Halloween. This whole little um, cart thing here filled with a bunch of different colored skellies. So we've got this guy up at the top and these are these are very interesting. These are definitely a choice um, if that's your thing but he's like all bedazzled and got a bunch of beads and sequences and stuff like that. Got a little crown, $40. He looks pretty darn big too and lights up. I think this eyeball in here lights up so there's like this um i guess copper color it looks brown but it's supposed to be like a gold because there's a silver one down here you can kind of see a little bit better like all the bedazzling that they're doing on these guys it's not my thing for sure but it is pretty darn cool. I've never seen anything like that before. And there's some normal, quote unquote, normal skellies in this uh, cart here as well. Looks like these are $17 and I think they light up as well. Yeah, there's a bunch of different kinds. There's a silver one, like a black one, a, nor a quote unquote, normal colored one. So there you go. Oh, and then the, like a gold one over there too. And this garland here, look how adorable that is. I love the little mummies hanging from it. Oh man, super cute. Six feet worth of adorableness. And there's also some table runners down in here, the spider webs. And um, there's a jack-o'-lantern one as well. This isn't technically Halloween, but it is spooky. It caught my eye. It's a big ceramic palm, palmistry palm. It's got the uh, different zodiac signs and basically all the things that you do for palmistry. It's $17. That is awesome. Oh, I love that, good find. Officially walked all throughout the store, including a TJ Maxx. I think we found everything, but check it out. I was just about to go take some pictures and grab a few things and we found some, uh, dish towels here. Skelly jack-o'-lantern here juggling some candy corn. Little ghosty that says boo. Some black cats with a fetching little bow tie on. Some gnomes of course you gotta have the gnomes. Look at this. This is really cute. The spooky house. Got a cat, the ghost, the raven, the bats. Got all the good stuff. Spider webs. And there's some skeletons down here. It says you're my boo. And here's another pumpkins, pumpkins with the cats. It says boo on there. Very cool. I like it. I like the, um, I like how kind of homemade, I guess, these look. Like they're very adorable. Like if your grandma liked Halloween, maybe she would put these in her in her kitchen and I'm I'm really not mad at that aesthetic. Okay, I just grabbed up all my stuff, took my photos, gonna wait in the very, very long line because I can't leave without this, this this stuff. But uh this caught my eye. Holy moly. A thousand dollars for the carriage here. I don't think it works, but you could put it inside of your garden. Oh my gosh. I've never seen that at a home goods before. And hooray, home goods was a success. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you for having Halloween home goods. It was quite a trek to get here. And by the way, I did purchase a few things. So that means at the end of the video, we'll do a good old fashioned haul, even though you can kind of see already what I got. And we have made it back in the car in the AC. By the way, everybody say hello and welcome back to the return of the spooky hat. Um, had to. It's the, it's as of the time of this recording, it's the first of July. So, you know, spooky season's here. We're doing it. The hat is back, and it's official. Anyway, let me spin you the yarn of how I found out that this particular Home Goods TJ Maxx had Halloween. So, and this has now happened to me 
a number of times on the social medias, for better or for worse. I was just happened to be scrolling through my Twitter, as we all do, and all of a sudden a post popped up saying code orange at Home Goods. And I was like, what? And it wasn't even a person that I followed. It was just some random person on Twitter. And it was a, a photo of stuff at Home Goods. And so I clicked on it, and in the comments it said that it was a Home Goods here in Lake Mary. So that's how I found out <laughs> a little detective work and a little uh, serendipitous sort of situation going on here. But, um,. That's how I found out that this particular home goods had Halloween. Now I wanted to say all of this because this has been happening to me a lot lately. Obviously we know that social media pays attention to the things that we care about and it starts suggesting things to you that maybe you didn't sign up for but it's like hey they liked what whatever such and such let's show them more posts about this particular thing and um I guess because I've been doing all these videos and talking about it so much on the social medias, um, it's now like suggesting these things, which is a blessing and a curse because it's a, it's a good thing obviously for me and for all of us here because we're all trying to find Halloween, right? Right. So that's a good thing. That's not a bad thing. Um, and we all should try to help each other, try to, you know, shout out where we're finding all of this stuff. So if we happen to be in the area, we can go check it out. And all of that stuff. It's not a competition or whatever. It's, it's not like that. So that that's a good thing. The, the part where it gets tricky for me is being a creator, being a person who makes these videos. Um, I don't want to be influenced by uh, other people at all. Um, and this is happening more so on like the YouTube side of things where now YouTube is like, oh, well, she's, you know, uploading all of these videos about um, Halloween hunting and stuff like that, let's suggest a bunch of them to her. And it's like, no, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. It's driving me crazy. Um, so yeah, but it, it's just one of those things. I, you know, I'm not the first one. We're going on a diatribe here. I'm not the first one to invent spooky shopping. I'm not going to be the last one to do spooky shopping. There's a lot of different videos out there. There's a lot of different creators out there who are doing different things, who are doing amazing things, and showing all kinds of stores and things like that. And um, my influence for this actually comes from a YouTube channel, a creator uh, named Jade the Libra. She's one of my favorite ones. Um, she's the first one that I, and the first and the only person that I ever saw who was actually going out there and doing the things that I already was doing at the time, pre-YouTube, looking for Halloween stuff. Um, so it was like, whoa, you could do YouTubes on this? You could make videos on this subject? That's amazing. So shout out to her. She has an awesome channel. Um, I don't watch her Halloween shopping stuff because, again, I don't want to be influenced by that anymore, um, any more than I already have been. Uh, but I definitely watch all of her other things. She does a lot of different things on her channel, and uh, she seems like a really cool cool person so shout out to her um but i'm mentioning all of this because you know again i'm not the first one to do these kinds of videos i won't be the last one to do these kinds of videos i just hope that what i do is my own thing and my own stamp on this sort of thing and um you know i i just want to be a good creator and and doing something you know a little bit different than what other people are doing hopefully and I never want to get down that road of you know looking at other people's stuff like I that's not cool I I just want to do my own thing I love what I do I love Halloween hunting um, I say this all the time in almost every single episode if I wasn't you know if I didn't have a camera I would still be doing this anyway I this was my hobby this was my life before YouTube and so I'm, I'm just happy that I'm able to take you all along with me and um, we can do this together and it's so awesome that so many other people out there have the same interests that I do and the same passions that I do so I just think that's really cool um, but anyway that's my diatribe on that um, you know all the things that I do the places that we go all of that stuff it's all 
the things that I already have planned out anyway. There's stores that I have planned out anyway. So, um, yeah, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Ross, all that stuff. They they are right on the cusp of getting their stuff out, and um, so yeah, and we got a bunch of other stores that are coming up really, 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 really soon as well. So anyway, we made it all the way over here to Lake Mary, Florida. <laughs> which is quite a drive from where I live. Uh, so I'm gonna do some research in my car really quick, continue to drink my coffee, and um, we're gonna check out a couple of other stores as well. And next up, we're gonna pop into a good old at home and see if we can find anything new. It's been a hot minute since we checked in on an at home and this is once again a brand new different at home than any of the at homes that we've been to so far on the channel so i'm excited to see if we can see anything new from what we haven't seen already and this at home is just right down the street from where we just were at home goods here at lake mary and indeed we do have right off the bat a bunch of things that we haven't seen yet at an at home. Look at all of these like potion decanters here. They are really, really pretty. There's one in like every single color you can think of. Very nice. I like it. Just ignore the coffee there. Anyway, moon dust, moth dust, eye of newt, nightshade poison. I think we saw that one already. And then there's also just ones that don't have anything, any words on it but they do have like a skull at the top that's cool this one just has a spider web on the top and hang a little spider web charm that's pretty darn cool these would be great for the uh spooky bathroom i don't know what coffin juice is either by the way but that sounds horrific that actually uh that's a uh, pretty darn disgusting Ooh, this is cool Ooh, I really like this. Now, usually I'm not like a big decanter potion bottle decanter person, but this is pretty cool because it actually looks like like a bottle, like a like an actual bottle that you would get. That's awesome. I do like that little bat guy up at the top there too. Oh boy. I think almost everything down this aisle we haven't seen yet except for the giant skeletons down at the bottom. That's one of the first things that we saw but look at these guys they are very very tall which magic this one's already on so there's definitely a light inside of there $22 you could hang this up you know on your door or where you know wherever you hang up such things I guess maybe like on a tree or whatever there's also a ghosty one here too and per usual I'm only gonna show the things that we haven't seen yet on the channel. We've covered at home at length already so far this year. Um, so I don't want to waste too much time with showing you things that we've that we've already seen. If you're interested in a super in-depth at home uh, look, I have a bunch of other videos out on that already inside of uh, there's a playlist or just look on my feed or whatever, but we, we got, we've covered at home at length as I said now 5,000 times. So I'm just going to show you the new stuff. Anyway, check out these really cool metal lanterns. Little jack-o'-lanterns. I really like this. Simple, effective. I think it comes with the candle too. And it has that candle effect in there, which I really, really like. That is nice. How much are ye? Uh, oh, $10. Okay, there's also a green one as well. That's cool. Oh, that light up doesn't work. Anyway, you, you saw what it looks like. But yeah, these are cool. I like, I think I like the black one best. These cute little purple pumpkins are really nice too. They are definitely made out of plastic, $6. They light up as well. There's a bunch of different faces. There's this guy here, that one over in there, and yep, that that's it. At least for the purple ones. There's some black ones over here. That's kind of like a traditional sort of happy jack-o'-lantern. This one's uh, kind of mean looking and this one's like very evil looking. All kinds of jack-o'-lantern faces. Oh boy. And there's uh, white ones. These are different 
different faces as well from the ones that we've seen and then traditional orange in here and then a uh, pink so this would be pretty cool you could grab a couple different faces of every color and set them all up that would be pretty neat if i were so inclined i would do such a thing i'll put them all back i swear just trying to make a point here that is so cute i am a big fan big big fan Ooh, okay I cannot remember for the life of me where I saw a photo of this, but I did see photos of these cute little, they're fake, I guess obviously, but they are fake little succulent plants here, spooky plants in the little gravel things. Oh, okay, we are, I'm gonna be coming home with one of these, that's for darn sure, spoiler alert. They are so darn cute, I love me. A good spooky plant. I don't mind fake plants either. I think they're really cool, especially when they're spooky like this. They last all year round. You can't beat that. That is, I am a big, big fan of this. Five dollars. They're all like various price, or yeah, I think they're all five dollars. Awesome. Oh yeah, and these uh, purple lights here. Witch magic purple lights. These are very pretty. I like that. No, not overtly like Halloween or spooky or whatever, um, but I like the I like the color. Some more lawn decor items here. These uh, you would stick into your ground. They look like they're metal. There's like a the vintagey kind of um, silhouetted cameo skulls, skeletons here with the pretty hair and the top hat, and also come in um, come in my pretties that's cool the cauldron here very nice there's also a stack of jack-o-lanterns looks like they got like a little witch hat on the top and i think there's some doormats that we haven't seen yet either that's a huge gigantic doormat it goes from that tombstone there all the way to here it is very long and it says happy halloween it's got the raven the tombstones on it that's got a, that's a $30. There's a pumpkin here. It says, welcome. Little ghosty that says, boo, ooh. Ouija board. Ouija board, welcome, Matt. And they're busting out the spooky wreaths as well. I like them. Doused in glitter, of course. Of course they are. I do like this one though, the like brown wreath here with the, with the little, uh, Ravens. This one's definitely seen better days, but that's okay. There's a lot of fall items along the shelf at the end here. Um, it's a mixture of things we've already seen and we haven't seen. So I'm just going to try to pick out uh, what looks new to me or just interesting. There's these owls here that are really cute. We've got more spooky plants. This is usually what I see. They're just like in a black like little uh, planter or whatever. Ooh, and a cute little turkey. It's uh, really cute, made out of, he's like a knitted turkey, $10. So we got planters on one side, fall on the other side. It's perfect. It's my dream come true. And something very dangerous to point out is that planters are 50% off right now. More spooky plants bunch of different kinds. This is like a Haworthia, by the way. This is, um, not sure what this one would be. Actually, I don't know why I started naming plants like I know things. I, I, I don't actually know. But you get the idea. There's a bunch of different kinds here. I think this would be like a, a spider plant. And this end cap here, they are clearly still putting stuff out. But there's all of the, uh, the skull decanters here which we see basically every year at the good old at home. They have a bunch of different colors. There's a red one, purple one, black one, and a white one. More glass pumpkins on this end cap here, and I see a few things that are really darn adorable. They're all very pretty though. As you can see, a bunch of different colors and such, but look at this one. Oh, it's heavy. It's a lot heavier than I thought it would be nine dollars and it's got an adorable little witch hat on top make sure you, they wrap this up very good for you if you decide to 
poiches it. Those are very, very breakable. So this isn't a pumpkin, but I don't think it's even supposed to be here. But look at this little uh, witch hand. Isn't that cool? The nails are fantastic. It's got a little spider on there and uh, I guess it holds a, a tea candle. That's pretty cool, $10. And that was a success at, at home. I did go ahead and purchase a couple of things. So I'll show you that at the end of the video. I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop at one more home goods before we call it a day for shopping today. Um, there is a home goods and Marshalls combination um, along the way back home and back towards the direction that I wanna go. So we'll go ahead and drive there and just kind of scope it out. You never know. We, we, we got to check. We got to check. Every single Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, all that stuff, they're all going to be very, very different from the next one. So we're going we're gonna to check. We're, we'll see. Fingers crossed. We have made it to our destination and just take a look at this. Also, fun fact, I've totally been inside of this complex before. But anyway, Home Goods, Marshalls. Ross and then over back down that way Michaels which is a Michaels I I've definitely been to before there's also a five below right next to home goods so I think we're gonna go bam 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 down the row here and just see what we can find okay and absolutely nothing inside of this Marshall's home goods hybrid not even close so we'll move on to the next store and yeah, nothing in ross so we're gonna make the long trek over to michael's see what's going on over there someday this will all be halloween and then everything will be right with the world more fall florals that i don't think we saw last time i can't remember at least pretty pumpkin stacks and the garland here as well very pretty by the way, I found something here. Not Halloween related, but something that I'm gonna buy. It's 50% off. I'll show you at the end of the video. Lots of candles, orange kinds, and th these are definitely decorative. They're not smelly candles, I'm gonna assume. There's a lot of pretty different ones. There's a leaf one here, an apple, some turkeys, pumpkins, sunflowers. No sign of Halloween though just fall at Michael's. I'm not surprised. You, they, they don't even have Halloween on their website yet. That's how far behind Michael's is. But they do have, they're, what they lack in Halloween, they have a lot of fall, so that's something. Now we are heading back home. It's just sitting in the lovely I-4 traffic now. So I'm going to do some more shopping, personal shopping on my own before I actually head home. Um, and then we will do a good old fashioned haul. I got a lot of stuff to show you here at the end of the video. All right, as you can see, we have made it back home to the Spooky Studio, which is a work in progress as we unbox all the things and also sorry that my hat is totally in the way of things i have hat hair right now so we're just gonna deal with it anyway let me show you all what i got so starting off at home goods this is no secret i got the fruit basket the fruit bowl thing which i realized later on in the day we totally have a fruit basket at home uh, but it doesn't have spider webs on it and little spiders and stuff on it um, if you're new to the channel we actually have a spooky kitchen or at least we're in the process of getting a spooky kitchen in our old apartment we it was all like halloween decorated and um in this place i think it's going to be as well probably not as much but still spooky themed and i have several pieces that are halloween themed and spider themed so this is going to go perfectly in there this was too good to pass up and it was 13 dollars next up from home goods and the final thing that i got from home goods yes i know i only got two things i restrained myself i got the palmistry hand and it wasn't even a halloween item um in fact i saw this at the other home goods that we checked later on 
this kind of look, I'm not gonna lie, this kind of looks like the, the hamburger helper uh, mascot, the little glove thing. Like it kind of looks like a big floofy glove. So it is a little weird. It is a little weird. However, it was $17. It's not too expensive. It's quite large, obviously. And I just think it's really neat. I think that I'm hoping that there will be enough room maybe on the on the shelf here for the big old hand. I just think it's it's so cool. Like I I love that this is a palmistry hand and um, it was too good to pass up. So I got me a ceramic hand, what can I say? And I did indeed get some things at the at home as well. Let's be honest, a lot of this stuff isn't really a surprise here. I went crazy for these little spooky plants in the little dish here. They are so stinking cute. I went with the spiky one in the, the wide bowl here. And also at the at home, I did get a planter. This is not a spooky item, but it is a planter. As I mentioned in the video, uh, the planters were on sale. At least some of the planters were on sale, 50% off. This one, unfortunately, doesn't have a drainage hole in it, which was definitely a bummer, but um, it was $17, 50% off of that. You do the math because I can't. And yeah, I just think it's really cute and adorable. There will definitely be a plant that I can put inside of this little guy, so I'm very excited about that. And then finally, this is what I got from Michaels. It's a ceramic RV, and it's a planter. Oop, there's my receipt. And it's a planter. Ooh, how adorable. Now, it doesn't have a drainage hole either, but it's fine. It doesn't have to have a drainage hole. You just have to be really careful with how you water it. So I'll just have to be really careful with how I water it, but this is too cute to not get. How adorable is this little RV planter? 50% off as well. That was the deal that they were doing in store. I paid $10 for the RV planter. I cannot wait to put a plant in here and I'll definitely show you all what that looks like eventually, so. Yippee, we got some planters today. And with that, that is the end of the haul. As I said, I did do some personal shopping towards the end there, but you all don't need to see the shampoos and stuff that I bought and the tons of money that I spent at Ulta just now. I don't even want to think about it. Anyway, I surely do appreciate you all watching. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully you had a good time. I don't normally say this. I try not to say this. I don't, in fact, I don't think I've said this at all on the channel so far. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of spooky shopping. That I do, I have been saying ad nauseum, but especially right now, now that we're hitting the month of July, there are a lot of stores that are going to be bringing out their Halloween in their fall for the first time this year. Um, and I'm going to try to be there for all of it and to show you all the things right away and uh, hopefully be one of the first ones that you see out there on the YouTubes bringing you this stuff. So, um, you never know where I'm going to be. You never know when I'm going to pop up on your feed. So if you want to keep track of me and um, make sure you see the latest stuff from me, if you want to, first of all, hit subscribe. If you are not subscribed to the channel, yes, this is an entire channel. We do a lot of spooky shopping. We do a lot of other stuff as well. Um, so if you wanna subscribe, I surely would appreciate it. And if you wanna hit the notification bell down there as well, because the notification bell, if you hit that, that means whenever I put out a video, a brand new video, it's going to pop up on your feed, on your phone. It's gonna come up as a notification and it's gonna say, hey, Chris the girl just went to, you know, whatever store is out there that she's going to go to in the future that she doesn't wanna disclose right now. And um, it's gonna let you know so you can be on top of all the spooky shopping things. Let's help each other out. Let's, um, you know, let's share all the spooky things that we can with each other and, and let each other know where the spooky things are. And uh, then we can all get the items <laughs> that we want. Yippee, consumerism. Um, anyway, thank you all again so much for watching. We have so much stuff coming up in the future as well as, once again, 
non-spooky related things. Um, in fact, the video that I'm filming tomorrow has nothing to do with spooky shopping, so if you're kind of sick of it, don't worry, your time is coming. In fact, we're gonna take a tiny little break for the next couple of days, um, and then you'll see me, you're gonna see a lot of videos coming up here really soon. Bam, 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 bam. We're gonna be doing a lot of videos, but um, it's, it's not all gonna be spooky related, it's gonna be other things too, so. Anyway, I appreciate you all watching so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We will see you all very soon. Happy Halloween, happy shopping, everybody. Bye-bye, thanks for tuning in. See you later, bye-bye.